back knitters i'm back to um answer one or more one more question that i had the other day um most of you portuguese knitters want to do your projects especially if the project is circular like a sock a sweater or a hat you are working inside out how the question was how do i pick up and pro stitches on a heel flap of a sock so i decided to use here my favorite baby sock this is a simple pattern it's an easy demonstration but of course you can apply this to any socks that you are working inside out okay if you like my little baby sock the pattern description uh, is i have a link with the, the pattern for you so just look for the pattern um, in the sample that i'm working again i'm working inside out i cast on the number of stitches here i'm working with a size two needles work a little bit of ribbing i pro the entire sock around the heel you have no way but work flat so you abandon one needle and half of the stitches of the, this baby sock you work the heel to reinforce the heel flap even though babies don't walk and and wear out socks like adults do um, this sock could be a sock for an adult so to reinforce this heel you might use uh, nylon yarn and you might use a stitch pattern like this where I knit one and slip one pro wise every other stitch and it makes a thick and cushy kind of heel flap okay so I did the heel flap I abandoned this needle with the heel flap and now with my third needle I'm gonna pick up and pro stitches on the heel flap so you're going to pick up I slip the first stitch every row that makes it really easy for me to come back and pick up on the side of the flap because you get this elongated beautiful v here i'm going to go in the first v from back to front i am going to pro this stitch and i have to give some tension here to bring the stitch to the other side well let me look you know let me use the lace point which makes it easier if this is too hard you can use another needle to pick up and i guess i think that's the case right in front of the camera that's what happens here i did come from back to front pro the stitch and i'm going under that beautiful v that i made it on the side three four five last one six let's try it again six there we go now i pretty much am abandoning the heel yarn i work around the stitches on the flap and i'm gonna have to rearrange here my stitches so i can uh, have a needle free to show you the other side but it would be the same thing i will get half of those stitches that i left waiting on this needle i believe there are 16 So I'll get eight past one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now I have my stitches half and half. This is just to make it um, 
circular work. Let's finish this. I'll have to rearrange the other side when I'm done. Yeah, now I have all the stitches here. I can use this needle to come and pick up stitches again. So I come from back to front. See my beautiful, this side even my stitches are more elongated so it will be easier to pick, pick up and furl. And the color of the yarn is contrasting now, makes it easier for you to see. Four, five, and six. And let's get this sock back into the mode of sock of three needles. I'll show you what I mean. And from this point on, you're working circularly again, and you're going to follow the pattern. I had to lift this up. It's making noise on the table here. One more. I have, I'm trying to divide the sock in half. So I will pick up half of the stitches on this heel and transfer to this needle. I hope I don't confuse that. If you are used to knit socks, you know what I'm doing. I'm just managing my needles here. The point of this video was to show you how to pick up or pick up the stitches on the flap. And by rearranging the stitches, I'm back on circular mode. And from now on, you would follow the pattern working circularly, but the flap stitches are picked on both sides there. I have what I wanted to do here. Show you this sock sideways. Take this away to show you. This is the, the brim and all the cuff, the sock, here's the flap, and I pick up stitches on both sides. And you are back to circular mode. You would purl and decrease the, you know, the stitches here until you go to the original number you cast on, until you reach the toe, decrease for the toe, and you are done. This little sock, this baby sock, is actually very easy to work with, especially with this flexible needle here and it takes only a few hours one or two hours to complete so it makes a wonderful um, baby gift i hope you enjoy if you have questions please uh, leave it on um, on a comment and don't forget that please subscribe and leave it a like so that will help my channel thank you